In this video, I'm going to show you five cool features that could actually improve the way you edit your videos. A cool feature to help you make better decisions or edits is using the Assistant Scrubber. Simply hit Alt B, a yellow light will appear, and now you can have it anywhere on your timeline to make the right cut for you. Let's say we want to make a split right here, it is now precise. If you wish to untoggle, Alt B again. If you wish to follow the scrubber on the timeline as it plays, make sure the icon here is highlighted blue. Now you are following the scrubber as it plays along the timeline. If you wish to remain static, simply uncheck this icon and now the footage will stay static and your scrubber will continue to play. Zooming in and out of your project can make better edits. We can simply use our cursor on the time itself, right click and we have many options. Zoom in, zoom out, the cool feature is zoom too. We go to one frame, it's maximum zoom. If we do the opposite of one minute, the zoom to one minute, it's the minimum zoom. We can also use this little icon here to fit to project. If we have many overlay tracks and title tracks open, everything gets really condensed and may be hard to view. Simply untoggle this switch here, show all visible tracks. However, all the tracks have expanded. We can scroll this up and down by holding down the shift key and using our mouse wheel, we can simply move this up and down. We can also release the shift key and then we can go left and right by just using our scroll wheel again. Zooming in and out features makes your edits faster. If you wish to view a small section of your clip over and over again, we can simply stay in the project settings. We click this little scrubber marker here. We can drag it to anywhere we want and now the clip will only play in the orange selected area. You can also use the repeat option and then play and then it will just play over and over again in this little section alone. And this will allow you to select the edit you want to make without having to scrub it. Keep moving all the way to the right. Once finished, stop and simply drag the little slider right back and the orange line will disappear. The last feature is called the Ripple Edit and it's probably the most powerful feature in Corel Video Studio when it comes to editing. Let's say you just wish to trim the clip in the beginning but everything here is aligned on a purpose. Let's highlight this area, S for cut and then delete. What you'll notice is only the main track layer has moved and everything else has stayed exactly where there is. So now everything is out of alignment. So how do I fix this? Let's control Z that back out. What we're going to do is use this option here. It's called the ripple edit. Click it once. We have a little drop down menu here. We can simply click the ones that we want to ripple edit or we can select all. For this tutorial, I'm just going to select the ones I want. Highlight blue. I don't have anything on title track two, so I don't need to highlight that voice music let's do the exact same thing i'm going to make an edit and i'm going to delete that section and now watch all the video footage everything underneath it will move to the left so it stays in alignment caution if you have a music clip or anything to the edge you will also need to edit that as well everything that is on the edge will not be ripple edit it will just be completely removed i will show you again let's say i'm just going to make a trim here s Highlight this now watch the voice track it will disappear because it tells you that it cannot ripple edit this track To avoid that we also must make a cut in the actual voice track the S We don't have to do anything else We can just simply delete one or two and we'll actually delete just that part of the audio track There you go a very powerful feature the ripple edit 